doing a Foxy face off for Foxy TV this week. Now this takes us back to last year, 2023. It is actually our last working day of the year. So this is our last Friday. The team finished up then and had a week off, uh, week break for Christmas. These were side by side, side by side houses. We had a bit of prep work for these ones. Um, did the consult, did the quote about 12 weeks out, and then got on site with the agent probably about six weeks, eight weeks out. It was actually Cassie's last week before she went off and had a baby that we did the consult. So these properties, what makes them different? They are side by side. They are both big properties. Normally when we've done a Foxy TV, they have been units. And this is one of the first times we've actually had two proper full-size dwellings, both on separate titles that we are styling on the same day. If these were identical, now side by side, you could get away with probably styling just the one property if you were budget conscious, but these are completely different properties. You're looking at a coastal interior in one where you've got light oaks, beige color timbers, uh, beige color walls, and light color timbers throughout. This particular property had the kitchen downstairs. It had some really nice big living spaces. It had the two living spaces with a really generous entry. And you've got the one next door, which is a bigger property. However, you have the kitchen upstairs. You have bigger living spaces. You have an additional living space, and you also have more outdoor. So that property is also gray, a gray color base. It is more contemporary, and it has a completely different feel internally compared to property one. Now, the agent had a really great discussion with me about the demographic that we would be targeting for for this property. Now, we are we are not inner city Brisbane. We are at suburban Brisbane. We're at Bayside. So these properties are in Thornside. Um, they're very much going to target towards a family buyer. Now, one of these properties is going to be more towards a family, and the other one is going to be more towards a older family if they have children at all. As you can imagine, troopsing uh, all the groceries upstairs into the kitchen of property two, along with all the kids' pieces, that's not really something that you're going to do if you have little kids, nor are you going to have the master bedroom on a different level to all the other bedrooms for the kids. So property two was definitely targeted towards an older family where I think the youngest when we were in discussions, the youngest um, child probably around eight, nothing little up. So what, to, what does that mean to us? That means the single bedroom, the smallest bedroom has a desk and a chair for a study space for the child who is at school, not a TP that's going to be targeted towards a younger toddler. There's no plush animals, there's no little kids pictures. This is all older demographic. It is far more contemporary. It is clean lines. There are glass top surfaces and it's definitely targeted towards somewhere, a family who, do, it doesn't matter if we have glass top surfaces because we don't have little fingerprints everywhere. Property number one, definitely a warmer color palette. We weren't completely stuck different on these two. We went coastal and contemporary, which is very much what the homes, very much how they had to be presented. So property number one uh, is our coastal property. Georgia has done the selections for this property. Millie was on site helping her in Install. Property number two, uh, that was selected by Syl and she was a stylist on site running the install for property number two. Now we did have a curveball thrown in uh, on site on this one. We rocked up and property number one, I believe, had a, a caravan in the driveway. Um, we had a huge dining table going into this property and it's one that cannot be tilted up onto its side. We had to wait a little bit for that caravan to get out of our way for us to have clear access. Um, but the rest of the install ran very, very smoothly. So we're gonna have a look through uh, these properties now. So property one. And straight away, you can see it's a light um, color base as you walk straight in. Very coastal, a very formal front entry. Um, having a nice big study space. Again, the huge big whale tail and nice big living space, nice big living areas. So you can see the nice big living space is looking very generous in size there, but oh, that's the dining table I was talking about. That has come up gorgeous. That's one of my favorite shots of the space so far. Now this outdoor, I don't know if you get much of that footage in there, but it is gorgeous from Furniture Shack, one of their new set. Oh no, that was Eureka Street, one of their new settings. Um, and you can see how warm the styling is. So upstairs, little uh, kids retreat space. Again, styling with wickers to bring the um, color palette throughout, um, going with the beiges upstairs. Uh, master bedroom blue. Look at those gorgeous lamps. Nice rust, oversized bed head in the background there, which I have at home. Um, gorgeous greens. So you can see it's all very clean and simple. We're trying to make sure that we, um, another study nook, get as much return on investment for these vendors as we can. Um, the rusts and tobaccos are very in on trend. Oh, look at that, you do get the outdoor, perfect. I think my favorite shot in that whole one is definitely the master bedroom. So you can straight away the exterior of this property, actually you can see the caravan in the back, in the foreground of that one. So that property number two was the one with the caravan. Um, straight out, as soon as you walk into this one, you can see we've got the contrast definitions um, in this property, starting out with a gray 
um, armchair and that's going to carry throughout. So we've got black accents throughout, study desk, even in the mirrors and the lamps. Um, and it's carried on all the way throughout the property so it would have carried them through. Beautiful glass top coffee table. Upstairs to, oh look how gorgeous those chairs are. They're some of my favorite dining chairs. Um, but you can see this one is just so much more contemporary in its finishes. Um, and definitely target, this one is the one that is targeted towards an older family. Beautiful. So that's one of our feature resins. That's why you can see, um, so it's definitely featured that on the, the Kofta dining table on its own. A nice, simple, clean master. Again, with more definition, bedrooms two, and I imagine three and four are gonna be very similar. Older style single bed, you can see what I'm talking about here. That is not targeted towards a young person whatsoever. Um, has a study nook, and then the arch bed head, they are featuring big time in all of our styling. Gorgeous, I am partial, I am always going to be partial to a gray color palette. It's definitely one of my favorites, but you can see the difference in the contemporary versus coastal. I very much feel coastal, whilst, so, what's trending at the moment, grey is on its way out, but how can it stay that way when they, they style up that beautifully and that contrast, that definition in the photography, when that lists on realestate.com, I believe that you're gonna see a real difference between the two. Um, however, that's the whole point of styling both. I might love property two more, but I know there are so many other people, especially an older demographic, they're going to love property one more. All right, guys, so they are the two uh, foxy face-offs we have, so property one, uh, which is Georgia, and property two, which is Syl, and that's the more contemporary feel. Uh, please let us know your thoughts below who you think is the winner.